Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use masking in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so masking is something that I've done in my tutorials before, but, but I haven't really explained it. And I haven't really explained what you can do with uh, this method. So I'm going to show you uh, that right now. So I've drawn some group layers right here. I will make the first one visible. And as you can see, the first one is a head with uh, a few eyes. Um, nothing special. So if we go into it, you can see that I have put the eyes and the head on separate layers. And that is important. So what we do, um, we double click on it. And by the way, uh, this applies for a bone layer as well. So we double click on it and we click we go to masking and we click on hide all click ok so uh, what you see um, is you can see there's a little circle on the group layer right here and a little circle on the eyes layer as well and also a little plus sign on the head layer and what this means if we go if we double click on the head layer and we go to masking you see it add to mask uh, and what this means is um, this one uh, which uh, is selected as mask this layer um, when you take it and you move it it becomes invisible as soon as it's not in front of the head layer because what's added to the mask like the head like the head layer in this case uh, everything above it everything above the mask layer uh, whenever it's in front of it it will be visible when if, when it's uh, outside of the mask layer of the object of the mask layer it will be invisible and so um, this is useful for a lot of things and in this case it would be very use useful for a head turn so if we would go to frame 24 to show you how it works and <clears throat> you just move the head like this and maybe a bit here no just here that's good and then you put the eyes right here you can see it already looks like a head turn and to make it better because right now it looks like this but if you would double click on the group layer and you go to, oh sorry you have to go to the head layer and you go to masking and then you click on exclude strokes then the line will be in front of the eyes uh, all the time so it makes it look a little bit better so that's uh, one uh, thing where you can use it for and in fact I have a tutorial uh, made in the past where I go into detail about making a head turn like this um, but yeah anyway uh, another uh, method that you uh, or another uh, thing that you can use it for is if I would make this one invisible is when I open the make the other mask group layer visible <coughs> uh, well, what we have drawn here is uh, a ball and something that would uh, is supposed to be a hole and then this uh, which I have called the mask layer and so if you look right here you see I have um, drawn it exactly like the hole right here the line of the hole right here and that is important for this one so what we do we uh, double click on this group layer again and we go to masking and we click on hide all again so again the same thing happens and of course the lowest layer uh, has the plus sign which means uh, it's added to the mask and um, the hole and the ball layer are added uh, they are masked um, but uh, we don't want the whole layer to be masked, so we go to masking and we click on don't mask this layer. 
and so uh, that way it's it will always be visible but um, what we're also going to do we're going to double click on the mask layer we go to masking and we click on add to mask but keep invisible we click OK so now you see it becomes invisible right here um, but still it's part of the mask so whenever the ball which is masked is going outside of the layer it will become invisible and so what happens if you put it like this it looks like the ball is going inside this hole so this can also be very useful if you have some type of animation where you want something to get into a hole or something like that so um, that's also one uh, thing where you can use it for and finally uh, one uh, one thing that you can use it for is for this one and what I have drawn here is uh, it looks kind of weird I know but it's a mouth uh, it looks strange but this is supposed to be the teeth and this is the tongue and this is the inside of the mouth and of course we have a mask layer and we have the mask again under the this layer the mouth layer and we have to make this one uh, invisible to show it so I've just created a oval right here and in this case it doesn't matter what color uh, it is so but what we are going to do we are going to double click on the group layer again and we click on masking and we click on hide all and then you see this happens the mouth um, everything uh, outside of the mask the object on the mask layer gets invisible and so what you can do is if you take the object right here you can move it and now it really looks like a mouth and so you can animate the teeth and the tongue and then you can make mouth movements and in fact I have a complete tutorial on how to make these mouth movements so um, I will put a link on uh, on it so um, yeah and finally of course if you go to if you double click on the mask layer you go to masking you can do the same thing again exclude strokes and what happens is the line becomes visible uh, which is uh, something that would be uh, what you want if you want to make a mouth. So yeah, that's where you can use it for. So yeah, play around with it. See if you can make other options because you don't have to make a mouth. You can also make, you know, any type of hole or any maybe uh, anything that you uh, a similar thing like this. But anyway, play around with it. Uh, see what you can do. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, so I hope you learned a lot about with this. Um, if you have any more questions, leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching, guys.